Hello. we are live. Hello, everybody. Who do we have here so far? We have some early birds into the chat. We have Scott, we have Jim, we have Brandon. Hello. And then obviously everyone. ourselves. Hello, and we have Tara just joined us as well. Hello. Hey, everyone. I hope everyone's well and had a good week. We trust everyone's well. John's put hello, love you, Rex. <laughs> John, I love our discussions. You really irritate me and get right on my tits, but I do love you. <laughs> we have Paloma in the house. It's just Paloma. I, yeah, I watched one of her reviews in the week, which is very, very good. By Hello, me. Paloma. So if no one's subscribed to Paloma, then go and give her a watch, and I'm sure you'll feel that she's worthy of subscribing. To I don't her. even think I follow her on Instagram. Well, you need Hit to. me up, Paloma. <laughs> Predicted snaps. Right. Yeah. And we have Matt in the house. Hi Matt, thanks for joining us. And we also have Brian. So we have a few people in already. Thank you for joining us at an earlier time today. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's because I'm off work. It's because you're off work and I think... Shh, what? don't give it away. I'm not, I'm not I wasn't going to say anything. I usually give it away. Yeah, you normally do. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, I think uh, it just gives me the time to finish my little job I'm working on. Yes, mm. yes, the job you announced when we had the live with Brandon. Yeah, I'm so That's tired. It, yes. <laughs> so you've been working today on your day off? Yes, I have been working. Yeah. You know, working seven days a week at the moment. Crazy. This oh. is why I'm on the uh, Red Bull. <laughs> but hopefully they will like what I'm doing. Yeah. I've got a couple of little things left to do and then it's editing. And then send them over and see if they like them. See if they like them. If they don't, then we're all fucked, aren't we? Oh, don't you swear. Sorry, sorry. Right. <laughs> what is everyone's drink of choice today? Uh, I am on the wine, and this is called Sove. Sove. It's an Italian Ooh. wine. So Exotic. There we, there we go. That is my drink of the evening. Had two large glasses last night. Two large glasses left. Yeah, you did. Actually, I did say, do you know what? I fancy a small glass, which is very rare for me. So you went over, didn't you? Got it. Yeah. I didn't actually like it. No, you didn't. No. Right. So I ended up with a can of Coke. <laughs> Have Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Thanks for joining. Uh, hello, Kit Kat. Kat. Kit Kat's made it. She's made Kit it Kat's on time. Made it. Well done, Kit Kat. Not that I sound patronising at all. No, it's quite patronising. No, don't sound patronising. That's not me. <laughs> I never sound patronising. We have who else? I drank some German egg liquor. Liqueur. Egg. Oh, so that would be what would that be over eggnog. here? Eggnog. No, what was the what's the normal name for it over here? The, the yellow bottle or yellow juice? It's called. What's oh, it called? That is eggnog, isn't it? No, there's, there is an egg, eggnog, but there's another name for it. Here. Oh, ooh, I don't know. Oh, that's gonna get on my nerves. Um, Coffee for me. Just woke up twenty minutes ago. So yeah, this is an early one for you, Brand, especially on a Sunday. So thanks for making it. It's very kind of you. Yeah. So we have some lovely <laughs> guests with us today. <laughs> so there is a clue. Guests. I'm allowed to say that. That is as much as I'm saying. Let's just move on before you slip up and ruin it. I will. You will ruin it. I will ruin it. Yeah. What have we been up to today? What have we been Apart up to? Apart from you working. Apart from me working. Um... I'm going to pour myself a wine. What have we been up to? Well, we went for lunch, didn't we? We did go for lunch, yes. As always, on my week when I'm off work. Uh, you did your training this morning. I went boxing this morning, yeah. I'm hoping if I finish my work Cheers. early enough, I can get a session in later. But I'm not. I'm not holding out. I hope I'm not. You'll be knackered. Um, we haven't really done much, have we? No. Went and bought some sweets. <gasps> oh yeah. So Sweet. <laughs> Has anyone had one of these before? Look. They look rather dodgy. What are they? It's chocolate cho banana. It's a chocolate banana, look. You just got it everywhere. Mm. Oh. No, it's really weird you're eating on camera. It's a little bit weird. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Mm -hmm. So, what should we talk? Should we talk about uh, your beefs for the week? Oh, I've got one. I think everybody knows what my beef is. What's your beef for the week? I week? got spammed in the first half of the week. You didn't move, yes. Disrupted you, didn't it? <sighs> oh my goodness. 
I'm not even kidding you. I had about 300 people. Hi, Stephen. Add me. 300 people. Somebody, so I posted that picture and some random person added somebody and I clicked on the act to see who it was and then from then, it just escalated and I've got like 300 people, random people, admin, you won't even like decent people. It will be pages just full of people's mug shots. So yeah, that, that was my beef. Look, this is, I've been playing this week. Look, mm -hmm. watch this, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? See, see if mm -hmm. this happens, are you ready? Uh, let's see if we can make this work. Okay. Here we go, look. Ready? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Been that's, playing this week, haven't I? That's amazing. I know. Don't forget to like, look. <laughs> <laughs> that's just brilliant. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, I know. That's just excellent. So, isn't it? that is your beef of the week, and I've got this one as well. Are you ready? Like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. What do you say, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no. So what's your beef? Um my beef of the week, so thing something that's annoyed me. Oh COVID police at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna move back a little bit there. COVID go. police. But I'm not gonna say any more of that, just COVID police. Just COVID police. We behave ourselves anyway, don't we? Well, I have my own little office, so I don't, like, what he means is, wearing a mask. I don't mind wearing a mask. Are. I don't mind It's being told, isn't it? No, I don't mind that. It's, it's being told what the do's and don'ts are by people that aren't in charge of you. Yes, I have my own little office, so I can just shut people away, which is brilliant. <laughs> so, that's your beef? Yeah. Have you got beef. a phone now? Not at the moment, no. Uh, it's good, it's not awkward. <laughs> no awkward ones here. No awkward ones, okay. Um, do you want to see? Hold on. No. No, that's just weird. <laughs> that's weird. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, what would be my, something I've been happy with? Received some good stuff in the post this week. Yeah, you have. You have like loads of samples. Yeah, I've had a few samples through. Mm -hmm. uh, my weekend off has been really nice. We went for, I would say my Boner of the week would be my cream tea yesterday. Oh yeah! Well, I posted it on Instagram. If you haven't seen it, I posted the uh, posted it on there. Yes, we went for afternoon tea. Hi, Chad. Hey, Chad. Hey, Chad. Stick um. around, Chad. <laughs> Got something to show you. Got something to show you, Chad. Ooh. And it's not my boner. Have you got a boner? Well, I do now that I'm in the chat. <laughs> Wicked. Hi, Hilary. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> So that, your afternoon tea. Afternoon tea was just incredible. That scone, scone, not scone, scone. scone. That scone was um, incredible. It was homemade. And it was still warm. It was still warm, it? it was crumbly. And then the clotted Cornish cream. Oh. What have you got? See, this is why I don't eat them, can we? You've got rubbish on your beard. And then uh, strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. Just so good. Well, it was my mum and dad that took us, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And my dad sat next door to me. And this is an English thing. So, English people always debate what goes on first, whether it's the cream or whether it's the jam. So, my dad. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Said he put jam on first and then the cream. Mm. To which we were disgusted, weren't we? Yeah, it was. We went for this wrong debate. Sorry, it's just wrong. How do you smear the cream if there's already jam on the cake? Yes, yeah, you just can't. So he switched it up and actually agreed with us. He yeah, said, because you just dollop the jam, don't you? You just, you just get a spoon and you just go on mm -hmm. top of the cream. You just sort of pat it down a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we got it worked out. Anyway, Mark, thanks for joining us. Right at the moment, we're talking about um, scones and not fragrances. Cake. Let's move on to what we've got in this week. Cake is really important to me, so don't you leave just because I'm talking about cake. Right, okay. on to what we've got in this week. Mm -hmm. Loads of samples. Right, firstly. What you've got in, not what Firstly, not what I've got in. I don't really want to say uh, where these came from. You might get in trouble. I might get in trouble, but these got sent to me from someone that wants to do a collaboration. Oh, okay. I know, I'm really excited. Oh. I'm really excited. I've smelt them as well, haven't I? Yep, you smelt them, and I'm more impressed by one than the other, and the same one as you, actually. Mm. But they're both brilliant. 
Right, okay. the two things I got in from a very, very kind person that got them sent to me from fragrance samples, but it wasn't fragrance samples. They went to fragrance samples. And the first fragrance is called Creed Asian Green Tea. I like that one. It is really nice. If you've not tried that, mm -hmm. then give it a go because it is fantastic stuff. Really, really good. The next one is Parfums de Mali Godolphin. Yeah, I didn't mind that. I weren't overly sort of blown away with that. That's because it's quite strong. But it, as it sat on me, as the time obviously went along, mm -hmm. I think it's because I don't really like sort of really strong florally fragrances. And that to me was just a little bit too heady for me. Yeah, no, I see what you mean there. It's quite strong. I like it. I think it's a great autumn stroke winter scent. But I like the green tea one. Green the green tea, tea one is nice. really, really nice. So yes. if you've not tried that, Hi, Barry. well worth giving it a go. Hi, Barris. Thanks for joining us, mate. Barris? Buzz, buzz. Oh. <laughs> and Kevin. Is Kevin in the house as well? Have we missed Kevin? Have we missed Kevin? If we have missed Kevin, I'm sorry, Kevin, but thank you for joining us. So they were sent to me from someone in the chat right now, and we're going to be doing a collaboration, but I'm not saying any more because I'll give it away. Wait. Is it just no, a... don't. Oh. Yes. He hasn't said anything. She hasn't said anything. He, she, whoever yes. it was. It's okay. You like? can say it's me. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Chad, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness, you're turning me off and it was there on black and white. Right, okay. Well, I'm allowed to say, Chad, <laughs> let's tell them. Chad approached me and said, would I like to do a collaboration with him? And have I got them in my collection? I think it's going to be just the one, and that is going to be Godolphin. And that is one of the only ones I hadn't tried from the Parfums de Mali range. So Chad kindly went on to fragrancesamples.co.uk and sent me two samples. He's lovely. He's a really, really good guy. So I'm really looking forward to getting together with Chad. He actually said, Chad, that if you were here, he would have actually like cuddled you and reached round and squeezed your bum. I would. I'll give him a hug. Man hug. Yeah, and then slip and just down. And then, no, I wouldn't go inside with him. No, just, just like, just just like yeah. yeah, just go. Uh, oh, I yeah. think you would like that. Yeah, I think he would. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd mind. Frag Tastico is in the house. Hi, Javier. Nice to see you. Nice to see you nice. Oh, Tara's just about to eat some meaty pizza. We love a little oh, bit of meaty pizza. Extra meaty pizza. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep it British and wanted to originally do a Ben Haggins one, but I wanted to do... It's not available. Well, Chad, I think... I'm really looking forward to it. I've got to wear it a couple of times, but we will talk in the week and we will work out what we're going to do. But I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for approaching me about it. Can I just say... So and we are cheeky, yes. He is cheeky. I am very cheeky. Can I just say it's really bugging me, but those two screws that you see, literally, uh, where am I? There. There. Oh, it's like, hold on, hold on. There. There and there. We yeah, had we, yeah. we obviously everybody in our chat obviously knows, but the people who don't know, we don't just have random screws in the walls. We don't know. We had a canvas of when Thieves was a baby, but she's she's got her little butt cheeks out and yeah, so we have to take it down. But we don't just have random screws in the wall. <laughs> it's just it's they're shiny really light today. I just keep looking at them thinking, oh my god, people are gonna think like, why have you got random things in your wall? No, we, we have a big canvas up there, don't we? Yeah. That fits right between those two bits and we don't really want to show it on our lives. So it's it's a really cute picture. It's a really cute, picture, a really cute picture. picture. Maybe another time. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to what else we've got this week because time is ticking. We're nearly at 15 minutes. Let's just catch up with some of the chat. Barry's unsubbed to me because he says that I'm cheating. Unsubbed. <gasps> oh, there's enough love to go around, Barry. Hold on one second. Those two <laughs> screws are made for four eight times ten of me. <laughs> Brilliant. Yep, get it sent in the post. I might put it up. <laughs> might put some merch up there. Might get my own canvas or my own logo. What do you reckon, babe? Oh, you could do a really a cheesy old like F, F behind me. Yeah, you could be like this. Yeah, I could get a picture of me like that. Yeah, yeah. holding up my predicted t-shirt. <laughs> 
Oh, dear. Hello. Hello, Kevin. If anyone else wants to send me their merch, I'll wear it on camera. I'll wear it. Yeah, but people who have merch are obviously a little bit bigger than you, though. Yeah. So I don't think it'd be as weird. What are you saying I'm weird? Well, you got your T-shirt way before you even had loads of subs. Yeah. And you just got a little bit carried away. Yeah. And actually, I still not even got a T-shirt, so... Yeah, it's sad. I know. Let's get rid of that. It is really sad, but I like it, and I had it made myself just for me. I'm not selling it. I'm not selling merch. But I have had a couple of comments saying, "Oh, you got merch?" No, if I haven't. Just... I always say your brother's got merch, but your brother's got God knows how many subs. So he's where is he anyway? I'm sorry. Where is he? Probably looking after our nephew who got like run over. Yeah, that should have been our beef for the week, <laughs> though, shouldn't it? Well, we didn't want to make it too personal, but no. yes, our nephew was in a car accident, bless him. Um, he got hit on the way to school. He's only just started secondary school, so high school. Um, and a lady, unfortunately, ran him over. Um, Tony was one of the first people on scene, because we only live like five minutes down the road, because we're all in a little village. And so yeah, our big beef is probably, if we're going to make it personal, is the fact that our nephew got run over on his way to school, bless him. So he's had another operation, pinned on his shoulder, he's had his bones in his leg. Straightened. Straightened and casted. So yeah, it was, it was a horrible start of the week, but I tried to keep it less, you know, too yeah. personal. Cause... Decide not to wear it this week, um, Barry. I'm sponsored by uh, Lyle Lyle and Scott. Scott now, yeah. They got in touch with me and said, we'll pay you £500,000 a year to wear your merch. <laughs> and they said, uh, if you wear this every week, they'll give me £500,000 a year. Not £500,000, £500,000. So, wow. yeah, I'm going to hand them a notice in at work tomorrow. And I'm going to concentrate fully on fragrance reviews. Do you know what, though? Hilarious thing. I know Javier, yeah, it's horrible. Uh, do you know what's funny? Every so often, Tony gets a DM on his Instagram page of a sports, of a sports company oh, wanting to work with him to be a model. And I'm like, hey, I'm not sure if you've got like an athletic body. I'm not. I think no. Uh, got yeah. moves. These like, when it's I hilarious. skip at boxing, these jump up and down a little bit. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm an embarrassment. But I keep having this... Um, keep having this fitness company email me on Instagram asking if they can uh, if I can model their stuff and I just don't think they realise maybe they just look at my face and think you're fit for the brand no I think it's just a bot I don't, I don't oh. generally think <laughs> is it not real? I generally don't think someone <laughs> in the office is going to go hmm <laughs> let's get Tony from, to, from predicting to model out sports gear fan of mood that's not that's me asking you look the, the bananas would look lovely in this on this t-shirt wouldn't they so the bananas yeah mark here yeah, look big fan of moves that's me asking you to model my banana hammocks what are banana hammocks that's what apparently is merch is look i only have banana hammocks pants. for merch you Wait, can wear maybe mine you mean, maybe maybe he means pants though like white ones oh banana oh, hammocks oh okay get it <laughs> <laughs> Get it, I don't think he wants bananas on t shirts Oh, okay. Are you alright? No. No. <laughs> I'm a bit thrown off now. Uh, right, someone wants to say yeah. hello. A quick hello. A quick hello from someone here. Thanks, Paloma. Come on, quickly then. I don't like her on every week, so it is a quick hello. Hello. So, hi then. So, hello to everybody. Don't be weird. What are you doing? Why are you pretending to be a spider with your hand? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to come and say hello, now you're hiding. Say hello then, and then you can go back on my No, you're not going in there. Scott says, hello, Phoebe. Hi, Scott. And Brandon said, hi, Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe's. Hi, Phoebe's, from Brandon. I can't deal with more than one. Yeah. From <laughs> Colombia. <gasps> There we go. That's a long way away. He says hello. Say hey, hey, happy day. There we go. And Nigel said hello as well. Say hi, Nigel. 
Like, we could be here all day. There's like 24 people in the chat. So, like, yeah. <laughs> thank you for the hellos, though. Right, let's move on to what we what else we've got in this week. Um, we've got some more sweets, palm of violets. Palm of violets. We've got some more sweets, uh, cola chewits. Oh, lovely. Can we? Uh, yeah. Got a new pen. Oh, my goodness. Got a new pen. That's a new. Uh, <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Is that Lamy or Lamy? I don't really. I don't think people want to see that. Yeah, got, them. got a new fountain. Wow, there. this is yeah. amazing. Right, and then we got some. Let's move on to fragrance, shall we? Right, <laughs> we got in some stuff from Barry. Big bad Barry. But with from Canada, Mark says hello. Hello. She's waving. She's waving, and Paloma says hello from Germany. Hey, empty. Thanks for popping in. Very, very nice of you to join us. Right, so I've got to find out exactly which ones were from who from this because I'm not 100% sure. There is a little note to go with it to you say, mixed them all up, didn't you? but I've mixed them all up, so I really apologise. So this is from Scott at Centurion, and it's also from Barry at Centralised. So Barry sent these on to me but some of them were from Scott. Barry sent me a mystery sample. There, Ooh. question mark, which I've given him some feedback on. And he also sent me some Galans, the RDL range. So I've got the EDP, Intense I think that is. Another one. What else have I got? Barry is the owner of Galan. Oh, sorry, yeah, Barry's the owner, I forgot, he's got the shares. Why didn't he send me, he's got the shares, why didn't he send me the four bottles? Well, you know. Yeah, that's true. He's a little bit cheap. I'm dropping the stuff here. Dropping the bits all over the floor. I've got the extreme. <laughs> you need those banana hammocks. I do. <laughs> and then there's some others that I know some of them are from Scott. Now, the ones I know that are from Scott are Daniel Hossier. And this is Mystery Oud. Looking forward to trying that. I hear very good things. I've got Oud Touch from Frank Olivier. And I've got HDP 1740. Not sure what one that is. Maybe Scott can put it in the comments. But the three I didn't know about, which I think, oh, another one as well. I've got Oud Assam. And I've got some more here. So I've got T. Habanero from Ranier. I've got Velvet Amber from Fragrance de Bois. Oh, I squared that bit, no. Yeah, that is a <laughs> monster, isn't it? It is, Absolute yeah. monster. And, that, and we've got Ambre Loop from Ranier as well. So HDP means something horrible in Spanish. Oh. Ah, history. Thank you for that, appreciate it. So thank you uh, to Scott and Barry for sending those on to me. I'm really looking forward to giving those a go. I know some of these are going to be quite challenging for our little petal noses. Our petal noses? Yeah, petal noses. We I are... think my, my nose is more delicate than yours. Yeah. 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 But I did have to wash one off yesterday. I think you're going to have to sort of... Right, bail me one second. <laughs> She's trying to get out and the dog just keeps like... Right, don't know why she's getting out because her iPad's there. Oh, I can't there. Anyway, Amber Loop is good apparently, says Nigel. Smelly Oods. So, yeah, lots of Smelly Oods to go. We've got about five minutes, so... Five minutes? Oh. Five minutes. Five minutes to go. We have someone in the background already. Number one. Number one is number here. Or number two, however you pronounce it. <laughs> Ready and waiting. So um, we're waiting for another person, but, 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 we won't be too long. Be about five minutes. And you sound very professional, man. Do that. Be like, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we talk about? Wow. What do we talk about? What shall we talk about? What would you like to talk about? What have about? you been wearing this week that you've what enjoyed? What have I been wearing? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Mainly, oh, the weather's been awful hey, Matt. here. Thanks for joining us, mate. The weather has been horrible, hasn't it? It has, yeah. So, uh, it's been about 10 degrees, which I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. What's 10 degrees in Fahrenheit? 
15, I think, ish. So I have been digging out some wintry scents. Yeah. So I made a good dent on um, Vitor's Noir Extreme. Extreme. Raise Noir, that's cool. Yes, I'm wearing that today actually. Um, what else? What else have I been wearing? Oh, I had a sample of St. Halligan's. Uh, is this St. Helen's? Is this St. Helen's? No, oh, it's St. Helen's. I don't know, where's that from? I found it in my handbag. Did you? Yeah, I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> I found it in my handbag and I was like, ooh, what's this? Uh, that's really nice. I'm sure it's called St. Helen's. It's like an aqua greeny colour. Uh, what else have I been wearing? I think they're the only two main ones. You've been, have you worn Freaky Ace this week or not? No, I haven't worn that yet. It's lovely. I, I haven't worn, worn that It's gorgeous. So yeah, I've worn, I'm, I'm starting to reach today. My sense of the day is, sorry for that background noise. <laughs> today, my sense of the day is, oh God, it is. No, uh, one, one million, million pre -made. One million pre -made. And I thoroughly enjoyed that actually. It's not doesn't project massively. I don't think you've got whiffs of it. No, yeah, but, but mine is quite overpowering. Yeah. But it's it leaves this little buzz of loveliness around me. A buzz of loveliness. Yeah, so it just it just stays around this. Like area. A lovely unicorn. So if you was to come in and give me a heart, I think it'd stay. It was not No, do you know what I can't just it's away. <laughs> Well, I've enjoyed it, and I swear it first thing this morning, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's gone by now. So, so really yeah, so I've literally been digging out the uh, good old winter scents. Yeah. Right, so, shall we bring in our people? Are, is, are you ready in the background there? We got, we got, we got thumbs up, right. Oh, Hang on, Chad just says, weather is horrible. Ain't that normal? Yeah, it is. It is, but yeah. we've been really lucky. We've had a late blast of summer. 28 degrees. 28 yes. degrees this week on Tuesday. And we've had a really good, from April onwards really, right the way through until now. It's been quite warm. And then it goes to, should we have a look what the temperature is at the moment? <clears throat> 13 degrees. So, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty chilly. Right, so... With further ado, we're going to get, I'm going to count down on the 30 second banner and then I'm going to bring the people in. Lucas Poe, your black team must be in the wash, he wasn't prepared for the white polo. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. So I'm going to bring on the 30 second timer. Wow, look at this. Oh, hang oh, on, no. hold on a minute. Oh, no. Let's change this. Hold on a second. Let's see how this works. Oh, there we go. No, that's, that's better. Better. There we go. That's better. That's better. Look at us being all professional. We did a lot of pictures. Wow. <laughs> how is everybody? We have Hillary and we have Chris. Hey. I'm going to say it right from the borough, Nerdy Fragrance Reviews, <laughs> our friends, we would like to welcome them to our stream and our Sunday Live, and thank you so much guys for joining us. Yeah, thank say, you so much for having us. No problem. We, we were on the way home, we were a little bit fangirling, yeah. weren't we? We yeah. got all excited about you two coming on. We did. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bit damp. <laughs> Sorry, I got <laughs> Always my goal. Was it the song I sang? It was the song. It was definitely the song. Definitely 100%. the song. Yes. You know what, Hillary? You sent the song. I won't say too much about it because I'm not sure if you've used it yet or you might be using it soon. So I won't say too much about it. I'll leave that up to you if you want to. But literally, that was the day my nephew got run over, and Hillary sent me the song on Facebook, 
and it's incredible. And I was literally beaming. I was listening to it in the car with it, the sound right up, and I was just like, I needed this. This was awesome. So thank you so much. Can I just say though? Yep. Hillary's version is the first time you've actually heard the proper lyrics. No, I have. No, I've heard the song. You just didn't understand. No, the no, no. My, in my defence, the song is on the radio all the time, <laughs> but they bleep out virtually every single word. So I haven't heard the lyrics and really <laughs> listened to them until Hillary sent me the song. He's I'm pretty sure it. I had never paid attention to the words until then. There we go. <laughs> you have now. <laughs> he stood in the kitchen. He was like this. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite an awkward time probably for Hillary. So I apologise. She's just obviously nipped off. This is time for you there, Chris. Is midday? Yeah, it's midday here. Yeah. Midday. So uh, on a Sunday, I really appreciate you both giving up your time for us. That's really, really lovely. Oh, you're very welcome. Sorry, my kid's a bottomless pit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't I literally handed him a snack during like, you know, right before the 30 second countdown and he had already finished it. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Hillary, if you need to nip off, don't feel bad. Okay. Anytime, just go and do what you got to do. We just, we just appreciate you coming on. Don't we? We do. We do. We do. <laughs> First question. Da, 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 da. Pineapple on pizzas. Yeah. Pizza. What was your answer, Hilary? I don't really like pizza. Oh. I um so like I'll eat the keto pizza crust and stuff from Blaze, and that's okay. But um yeah, I don't typically eat much pizza. I think pineapple is wonderful on pizza, especially if I can get some bacon to go with it. Absolutely. Bacon. Pineapple and bacon. Yeah. Crispy bacon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Have you seen Tara's, uh, Tara's comment? <laughs> Hillary is broken. Yeah, Hillary is broken. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, the props, I'm lactose intolerant, and bread makes me sick to my tummy. So... <laughs> Oh, it's so it's and is this part of the lettuce burgers that I've seen a picture oh, of? Yeah. Is that because of the bread? You can't yeah. eat the bread stuff. They looked amazing. Yeah. Well, Are there, I eat it every day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to call BS on her argument because she'll say that she, oh, I'm, I can't do it because I'm lactose intolerant, and then she'll drink an entire glass of milk with dinner. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to say that's not the case. Look, no, yeah. no, it's no, not free. No domestics here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> We've got some questions that might invoke that a bit later on. Oh, we have. We have. We have, right. So uh, you've both watched our, our lives, I think. I think yeah. you really know probably some of the questions that might come up. Uh, we always try and mix it up and throw a couple of new ones in there if we can, so it's not too boring for the viewers. <laughs> so we've got some good questions pop coming up, I think. The questions came from the mind of us on our journey oh, yeah. in and out of Peterborough today. So we went for lunch mm -hmm. and we dictated on our phone while we were driving the, the, pit, the comments and I like to write them down. We're so professional. We are very professional. Yes. <laughs> right, so I think you're both right this question. Your favourite superhero? Oh. Hillary, you first. Um, uh, all of them. Um, <laughs> Uh, probably Captain America, maybe. I don't yeah. know. I mean, he's, he's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> and what fragrance would you choose for him? That even puts oh, you on the spot even more. I should have well, prepped I you could, I could always go with um, Harry Ellis America, just because, you know, that's pretty American. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like Polo Blue or something along those lines. Yeah. Excellent. Right, Chris, what's your answer? Favorite superhero? Uh, so my favorite superhero since the time I was a little kid is from the X-Men, but it's one that nobody talks about much, and it's Colossus. I just always really love Colossus, and the scent for him is easy just because he, you know, he turns into a giant metal monster. So uh, Parfums to Marley Pegasus has such a metallic note that just goes straight hand in hand. Oh, what about Tom Ford's metallic? Is it metallic? Metallic. metallic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, metallic hasn't really got a metallic. 
Well, no, no, no not really. Hands, no. Right. I'm done. Right. So, were you both? I've not asked you this. I don't think I've seen much about it. But were you both affected by lockdown at all? Did, was you was yeah. you locked down? Yeah. Yeah, our so, business was shut down for six or eight weeks, something like that. Six or eight weeks. So you were locked, locked, locked down. Out, for, you're allowed out for set essentials or take it. So oh, I can't talk properly. I've, <laughs> been, I've only had a glass of wine as well. Um, but you could go out for essentials, I take it, just like supermarket and things like that. Yeah. So you were affected similar to how we were. So what would you say, first of all, was your highlight of lockdown for you? Um, before lockdown, I've never taken more than a few days off in a row, besides my few weeks off that I was off for um, maternity leave. So it was really nice to be able to spend that time with him. And uh, yeah. yeah. Here, here. Well, that was us as well, 100%. But then it got to the point where it's too much. The kids were like, <laughs> just go away. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Every, and like, you know, when he's at home, you realize how much food they eat throughout a whole day. Because like yeah. when they go to daycare, they deal with some of it. And, you know, mm -hmm. I was eating part of the day, but he eats like it 24-7. And I was like, I'm going to have to get more groceries. But um, yeah. they, They're like a pit, like bottomless dustbin, aren't they? They are. It's just consistent food all the time. So Our food bill went. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, especially two teenagers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Chris, what was your uh, what was your highlight? Uh, so for me, uh, my personal highlight was when lockdown started. I decided that I was gonna, you know, try and build my strength up and do like the highest bench press that I'd ever done. I wanted to be able to bench press more than two hundred pounds, and I weighed about 215 pounds, and I got all the way up to benching 220, 225 pounds. Wow. So that was my my highlight for COVID. Woohoo! Good on you, mate. Great achievement. <laughs> and what would you say? I'm oh, sorry to talk about negatives, but what was you? Everyone had low downs, I think. But what was yours, Hillary? Um, well, money was probably the biggest one because mm -hmm. um, since uh, since we do like contracts or you know like own our own business and such, um, they hadn't figured out unemployment yet. So when they, yeah, so when they up and us down, we didn't get unemployment checks until well after most other people did. Um, like yeah, so I think Chris even got his like before mine. I'm like, but why? I applied earlier, and it's just, it was just the way that it was. It was kind of annoying. So yeah, I just kind of whittled down my savings. But luckily, that everything kind of picked back up. And yeah. yeah. What was your What was your low light of lockdown, Chris? Uh, probably uh, definitely trying to manage the business because even though. Uh, the money stopped coming in. Our bills for the business didn't completely stop. We have a rather large uh, payment on our, we have a mobile grooming bi business. So it's a big uh, van payment, you know, a, a vehicle payment. Uh, so that didn't stop. So we still had to try and figure that out. Uh, that and just running out of things to do with two toddlers. Cause it was a really interesting situation. Uh, once, once everything lifted, it lifted in stages. So they opened some things up and let our business start again, but they didn't open up daycares. And both Hill and I both have young children. Uh, so for several weeks, Hill was working by herself and I was just daycare for both of our children. So it was just a, a struggle trying to keep them entertained, <laughs> but it was a fun yeah. struggle. <laughs> and I, I was walking like an old lady by the end of it. I was like, oh my God, I'm back. <laughs> how old are your children? So how old are you, how old Hill? Uh, Finn's three. And your two, Chris? Uh, and my, uh, Arista is my daughter and she's four. Four. So, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a handful, isn't it? Yeah. They're six <laughs> months apart and it is a nightmare when they're together. <laughs> so it was a bit, They, it, they it definitely was, feed off each other. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but it was lucky that you got each other with that, I think. Yeah. You're quite close yeah. with the business and you're lucky you got the children similar age and stuff. And it sounds like to me, from an outsider, you've got an awful lot in common, which I, I really like about you both. I think you bounce off each other really well. Uh, you. You, you can tell you get on. I really like that. I'm sure there are moments because you, <laughs> you spend a lot of time together. Yeah, there I, are moments daily. I'm not, I'm not that naive. I'm sure <laughs> there are moments. I threaten to stab him almost every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, multiple times a day. 
<laughs> Give me that soul. <laughs> oh, I, I have grooming shears. They're much closer within reach. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, and and like he actually has been cut a few times, but it was not. It was never intentional. He just puts his hand <laughs> in places. Accidentally. Oh, exactly, Max. Exactly. <laughs> Anytime it happens, I'm like, well, you had it coming. Like, <laughs> yeah. Right, we'll go back to that one. What you can ask that, or you ask that. That was your question. That was my question. Yeah. Was yeah. So, what is your favorite breed of dog? Would you say? Uh. Probably standard poodle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I'm a, I'm a poodle specialist. I'm a poodle and Bedlington and other tight curly coat specialist. Um, so I, I like to work, to work with those, but I also really like um, any kind of sight hound, whether it's like Italian greyhound or um, I like Afghan hounds, anything in between. Yeah. Yeah. And what about you, Chris? Uh, so for me, I have a standard poodle, so I love to groom standard poodles. But if you're asking me which ones I like the most as from a business, I like beagles because we can crank out beagle grooms quickly and make a lot more money per hour that way. So when I see beagles, uh, I see money signs for sure. We like pit bulls too. Because oh yeah, we love pit bulls. They're yeah. the sweetest. Like they're usually the most well-behaved dogs on the table. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. We, we hear a lot. We have, this, we have a similar problem with the UK with rehoming pit bull breeds yeah. and, and staff breeds and stuff like that but mm -hmm. especially we have a we have a big problem with staffordshire bull terriers here with mm -hmm. people trying to rehome them and our local uh, rspca center our animal center is mainly staffordshire bull terriers isn't yeah. it and they're just they're just so sweet a lot of them they've just not been given the chance at all they're overbred as well definitely overbred but hey that's another subject let's move on um <laughs> Hillary, what was your latest fragrance purchase? Oh, geez. Um, I got Regime de Fleur uh, Falling Trees. And um, do you want me to grab it? Yeah. Or, okay, hold on. Let's give it a go. Oh, I know you're in there. <laughs> this chair is not made for scooting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, this wow. literally smells like, um, like wet leaves and um some smokiness in the background like maybe there's like a campfire that has been like um put out with water and like it's or recently rained or something and you're out in the woods wow yeah better the incense um, men, or? uh earthy like patchouli kind of okay um some woods yeah very it's very moist yeah Oh, I love that word. <laughs> Chris, what's been your latest pickup? Uh, it's actually my sin of the day. My latest pickup is uh, this one, uh, Georgia 40 Knots, which is just like a really uh, creamy, spicy, woody fragrance, which is just right up my alley. There came to be a good deal on it at a discounter site, so I just had to jump on it and get it. So it's a really nice one. Just if you like, it smells kind of smells a little bit classy, but also you can just wear it with, you know, t-shirt and jeans. So it's just a really nice, easy reach fragrance. Nice. Heard lots about it, Chris. It sounds lovely. Great pickup, I would say. Not tried it yet. I've got to get my nose on that, 100%. Absolutely, Tony. Excellent. <laughs> right. What should we do next? Oh, that, that's a question to, what, you just wanted me to go straight in here? Yeah, just go straight in. <laughs> straight in? Yeah, straight in. Yeah. Tony wants to know how big your sword is, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that one over there is a, uh, it's called a, a bastard sword or a hand and a half sword. So I think it's like 50 inches long or something like that. <laughs> you oh. 50 inches. Have I got a sword? Oh, uh... <laughs> Chris, I seen a video with you chop with you like slicing the orange. I've not seen this. That was amazing. That is, you know what? You should be a baseball player. He was. I, I was I a baseball player. Yeah. This conversation. I've got a bit of a deja vu. We've had this conversation, haven't we? Amazing. I've not seen this video. Literally, Hillary was like lobbing him. I reckon she was trying to get his face as well. Like, <laughs> I think she was, yeah. I was. It's, it's in the Seven much. Deadly Sins video, uh, Bex. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, I'll go and show her afterwards, Hillary. It's fantastic. So yeah. are you saying that Chris's video is like that old game used to get, like Fruit Ninja? Fruit Ninja, yes. yes. Chris, yeah. the Fruit Ninja. 
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's literally what the plan was, was to do like Fruit Ninja outside. And so he's telling me all these different ways to throw stuff. And at the one point where he grabs it and rips it apart, he hadn't warned me that he was going to do something ridiculous like that. I about pissed myself. Oh, Pete. <laughs> Take it seriously, because it's like rah, rah. The, the hardest part for me was that the sword is so sharp it went through those fruits, and I couldn't tell if I'd hit it or not until like you know part of it would come back and hit me. So yeah. he was wearing a hat, and like he turned around and he had like half of a grapefruit on the back of his hat. <laughs> So you definitely couldn't take it seriously then. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll, that, we'll leave that straight on. So that seems to be our question. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I see where you're going with these questions. I like it. <laughs> yeah. um, I love how he gets me to ask these questions. Hilary, mm -hmm. what is your favourite bean? Uh, <laughs> it's your favourite type of bean? <laughs> I guess a flickable bean doesn't count. Um, <laughs> uh, flickable beans count. Yeah, um, okay. Let's see. I like vanilla bean. Be the human kind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> off every flavored beans um, from Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, yeah. I, other than that, I don't eat beans. <laughs> what are those beans called? Are they like 30, 30 something? 30 bucks. Yes. yes. There you go. That's my favorite bean. Okay. Jelly beans. <laughs> And you can still flick jelly beans. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I actually have plans to fill in my sleeve with a, like a trail of rainbow jelly beans. Really? Oh, weird. I I have a couple of little gaps. Maybe I'll get some beans in there. <gasps> maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? That would be so good. Yeah. I'm, up, I'm up for it as well because I've got these couple of little gaps on my sleeve just here. So add a little bit of color into a black and white sleeve. I think could work. Yeah. And then you then you could finally join in. You know, flicking the yeah. flicking, flicking the bean. Like this. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You could finally <laughs> join in. That's where it is, by the way. It's not weird. That's just where it was. Right. <laughs> this is celebrity crush. Sorry to ask this, but there must be one. It can For be Hillary. Weird or not. Hillary first, then. Oh okay. goodness. Um. Uh. <clears throat> Julie Andrews. <laughs> I don't care. Oh. If yeah. Yeah. Very nice, Chris. Julie Andrews. Uh, I, I really have a thing for Kat Dennings from uh, Two Broke Girls. Yeah, okay. I really have a thing for her. Nice. Who's your celebrity crush? Cheryl Cole. <laughs> John's favorite. <Knew> yeah. <laughs> Beth's really nice celebrity one. crush. Who's <laughs> yours? Yours is Jayla, isn't it? Oh, Chandler is like probably my girly crush, but my main crush is obviously Zac Efron. Zac Efron, yeah. Zac Efron. Have, you his, have you seen his new show on uh, Netflix? No, no, I saw him in the The Greatest Showman. Oh, oh, he's got a series on Netflix where he goes and discovers like the wonders of the world in terms of food. Um, I like it. And he's with his uh, other <laughs> nutrition guy, isn't he? Yep. And I obviously watch it just because he's in it. But we, we you, know, you can learn some really good things about food, clearly. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to ask that. Right, let's move back on to fragrance. Let you can ask that one. Oh, well, you normally ask that oh, one. You can ask. Oh, that. okay. Thanks. We'll pick it up. Um, have you got a favourite note in fragrances? What is your favourite note? Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Uh, for me, it's a toss-up either between amber or pepper. I really love pepper and amber. Either one of those is just right up my alley. So. Pepper, you know what? That's an unusual choice, but I'm starting to really like... I'm starting to pick it out a lot mm -hmm. with different fragrances, and I'm really liking my spices at the moment. Saffron, yeah. saffron especially. It's sort of... I just love sweet spice. Mm -hmm. But you can really... Pink pepper's lovely, but yeah... Peppery fragrances are. Absolutely, that's oh, my favorite. Like that yeah, he's such a pepper boy. Like, like <laughs> you can spray any fragrance on him, and I'm like, is there pepper in that? It's just, <laughs> it just like emanates from his skin or something. Um, I think my favorite is probably vanilla or iris. Um, 
Ooh. Yeah. Great choices, Hilary. Mm -hmm. Great, great choices. And vanilla and iris together work very well. Yeah. They um, do. You're liking vanilla fragrances, aren't you, at the moment? Yeah. That's been, yes. Yeah, yeah. Big, big fans. I think we like similar things from what I've seen. We still got, I, I explained it earlier, as petal noses. I, I, we, we've not got into some of the deeper and darker stuff yet at all. Not, I, I have a little bit more than Bex has. She's not completely falling in that rabbit hole yet, but she's falling. She's like my hands are still on the yeah, side. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm like the Lion King, you know, like the, <laughs> the evil, the evil art lion. And I've grabbed, I've grabbed hold of her like that with my claws, but I'm going to let go soon, and she's just going to fall. <laughs> And then it's gonna. The problem is with that, it's gonna cost me a load of money. So uh, I'm that's true. On, yeah, I'm holding on for the moment. Yeah, I'm well, always in search for more vanilla fragrances. Mm -hmm. I just kind of can't help it. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's it is. And it's lovely. It is lovely in a fragrance. It really is. Right. Let's move on to the next one. Are you both watching anything? Any TV shows on Netflix or anything? Is there anything you're enjoying at the moment? Um. So. The, basically, the only adult TV show I've watched in a long time is The Umbrella Academy. Um, and it's probably been a few weeks since I've actually seen an episode. But, I mean, Finn and I watch a lot of Transformers, like the cartoons, and some Scooby and Frozen. So, yeah. Uh, I've been trying to catch up on The Last Kingdom on Netflix. The Last Kingdom. That is right up your street, I'm sure. It is, yeah. yeah. They came out with a new season, and I didn't know it for like six months. So now that I know, I've been trying to catch up. Excellent. Do you find it hard to catch up on stuff? Me and Bex do. We, just, mm. we, yeah. we love to be able to relax, but we don't get the time to do yeah. that a lot. Uh, it's quite precious, actually, to get that time to do that together. It really is. Um, I don't know if you find that with, with work and children and it's really responsibilities difficult. and shopping and everything, housework and not as much me, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I think Literally. that's why I end up listening to a lot of audio books or, or reading books because I can do those while I'm doing something else as opposed to just, you know, committing to sit down and watching a show. Yeah. Podcasts yeah. are fantastic for that, aren't they as well? They really are. Right. This is a good one. I'm going to ask this one. Oh, come on then. Who was the first fragrance reviewers that you remember watching? Uh, Demi and Jeremy, probably. Um, the two big ones. Yeah, because um, I wasn't actually into fragrances first. Chris was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and, that was our next question. Yeah. What was that? Sorry, Chris, you answer that question first. Uh, I'm pretty sure I watched uh, Ashton and Jeremy first. Yeah. Yeah. We were going to say, between both of you, who got who into fragrances? Definitely I got her into fragrances. Really? Yeah. See, that surprised me. I think that's because I've seen Hillary's stuff first. So, sorry, Chris, but I think I didn't know that at all. Oh, that's I was, fine. I know you yeah. work together. Is that how you two met? Because that was another question. Let's couple some of these questions off. So how did you meet? Uh, so we were both uh, managers at a local pet store. Uh, she was the grooming manager and I was the, the pet care manager at a local uh, pet store. And okay. we yeah. decided that we wanted to partner and make do our own thing. So I still eventually want to have a, a full pet store. I'm mm -hmm. into weird pets like reptiles and amphibians and that sort of thing. Uh, so eventually I'd like to open up a full pet store and have just a grooming van with, you know, Hill to go and make more money for us. But uh, to start, we just did the grooming business to get to get things off the ground. He likes to horn me in. It's fine. I do. I really do. <laughs> there's, so, okay. a, there's another question there from, um, from Barry, which sort of links into some of the stuff that we've got to ask. So Chris should do his own channel. I know, Chris, you mentioned that, but I think yeah. the magic of you two together... It's, I, I've got to apologise now. It's quite difficult with timings and the time that you do your lives to get in there live because we are usually in the middle of the night and fast asleep by right. the time you're doing it. So I do apologise for that because I would love to join them. How dare you sleep? <laughs> I, how dare I sleep? I, but no, I'd love to even come on at some point because I just love it. It's just finding that finding the time where I know that like, oh, I'm not going to get up too early because it's difficult for yeah. children. Yeah, it's a lot easier for us to start something earlier, like to be on yours early, than you guys to stay up so many hours late. 
yeah. yeah. And I, like Sunday is my only day off, so I'm so, like I'm always all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, but well, it's very rare that you have a weekend off. Yeah, I work weekends, so it's difficult for me to. Literally. So even when we do our Sunday lives and we're on and I'm working, I'm rushing home to get everything ready. Mm -hmm. um, That's so, where he gets all stressed out and red face. So yeah, because I'm already stressed. I'm already like running around getting everything ready and then something goes wrong. So it's uh, <laughs> always, <laughs> always, always, always on my lives. Although at the moment, touch wood, I've got a wooden table. Things have been okay recently. Yeah, we've not had many hiccups, have we? No, StreamYard seemed to have sorted out my sound issue. Mm -hmm. Um, there was a bug with, uh, it was StreamYard and um, Safari, the the two wasn't connecting the sound together. Oh. But there, is, there is a fix, but I haven't had to use the fix for a long time. But so, go. is okay. there anything, this is a question for both of you, that irritates each other about each other? <laughs> We did warn you, this may come. Do you want me to go first? Just go first. Oh God, they're both desperate to go first. Uh, my pet peeve is being late for things and Hillary is perpetually late for everything. We are late every single day to our first appointment and then have to struggle to make up time the rest of the day because someone is perpetually late. <laughs> We argue about it quite a bit. Fashionably late. Exactly. She's my worth waiting for. <laughs> my pet peeve is being told I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it's time for the appointment when I get there. So, or I mean, not the B word. It's God. <laughs> um, is there anything that annoys you whilst you're? Do you groom a dog together or do you uh, groom separately? So I do most of the grooming. He does the bathing. Oh, that's another pet peeve. <laughs> I've never failed oh. when I'm screwing on the face of a dog, which is, you know, one of the harder parts. Chris gets this feeling that he needs to clean the pan so we can you know, be ready for the next one, which is a great oh. idea. But um, that means that the um, that the dogs, as soon as he stands up, will look over there, and it's like I have scissors at the eyes, and it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> sit down and sit still while I finish this dog. Chris, sort that out. Uh, yeah, I'll try and sort it out. And uh, there's something that you can sort out. Anytime that I do uh, try and help, like I'll try and pick up a foot to do the paw pad or do something else, <laughs> it never that. fails. I'll have a foot in my hand, you know, working on it, scissoring around it, or doing something. Hillary tries to pick up the foot on the, the same side of the dog. Just like if I have the front foot, go try and pick up the back foot. I was like, okay, the dog needs to stand on at least a couple of feet. The number of times a dog has just started to go like, look at me. <laughs> All the time. It's my fault. Yeah, that's true. Do you have any favorite dogs to groom? Beagles. Breeds or like individual dogs? Yeah, have you got your favorites? As yeah. In like your like, repeat customers. You look forward to getting to because you really like that dog. Yeah. yeah do you have? I know you have some favorites. Who are your favorites, Hillary? It's, it's all the old people. I like all the old ones. Like, yeah, I, I'm like a, I'm an old dog lady. Um, like when they're so old they can't stand and they just like they'll put their front feet in the van and then like turn around to look at me like please pick up my butt for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It just it, it breaks my heart a little bit. So. We have a lot of miniature schnauzers that I like. I really like schnauzers, and we have several of them that I, lo I look forward to seeing. Yeah. Do you do them with little beards? Because I know schnauzers have little beards, don't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I had a giant. I got out walking like Chris. So like, <laughs> <laughs> strutting around, yeah. <laughs> Going pee on a tree. Give me a whiskey. Our <laughs> <laughs> little dog loves to groom, doesn't he? He does. They Jackson both. is a proper tart when it comes to groomers. He literally sits there proud as punch and his favourite bit is the hairdryer. <laughs> he just sits there like mm. <laughs> And I'm sure he smiles. It's like his like, it's like mouth goes upwards and you're like, you've got the hairdryer on him. He's like mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do we like dogs like that? It's the dogs that bite for it that drive me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I, I'm sure on the other foot you have ones that you don't like going to that are maybe a bit of a pain, that mm -hmm. are a bit more challenging and difficult to handle and um, and control yeah. while you're trying to grow, I'm sure. We get busy. 
Uh, I'm you sure do. you do. It's plus sides and negatives to any job, isn't there? But I'm sure the big negative for you is, yeah, getting bitten. Yeah, so I'm sure that's not nice. But in five years of grooming, there's only ever been one dog that we weren't able to actually finish a groom on. Just one dog. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was he a little bit aggy? Yeah, he's a bit aggy. A bit aggy. More, more than a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So, yeah. question for you, Hills. Yes. If you could put all of us mm -hmm. into a Harry Potter house, what mm -hmm. house would you put us in? So us here, all of us on the screen. Here. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I'm I'm a Hufflepuff. Um, okay. And then Chris is a Ravenclaw. Mm -hmm. um, Tony kind of seems like a Gryffindor. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, I was thinking Gryffindor for sure. Tony seems like a Gryffindor, yeah. Um, Bex, I don't know, but I really want her to be a Hufflepuff. So she's, <laughs> she's totally Team Ravenclaw. Come on now. Oh, no. Baby, you have to know what one she will be. Come here. Ooh, the future. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. She kind of looks like a Ravenclaw too, actually, doesn't she? I don't know, but she looks really, really brave. She might be a Gryffindor. Yeah, it's hard she to say. I'm not quite yeah. sure. Courage, yeah. You're going to be the same as me. Oh, she's not happy that right. way. <laughs> 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 What's your, no, that's in Would You Rather's darling. That's, oh, a, that's all, after the questions. We'll call you back in later and you can ask them, yeah? Okay. All right. She, sure? she was desperate to know which house she would be in. Oh, <laughs> She, all of a sudden, she jumped up from the sofa. She was like, <laughs> "I want to know." <laughs> she hasn't has, she hasn't watched the Harry Potter's, but I think she's got to an age where she might really like him now. Yeah, uh, she's sort of eight and a half. I think. She, they yeah. get they get really dark though, don't they? She's not a massive fan of Voldemort. It Towards just, the end, yeah, they do get a, yeah. a bit more dark. Yeah, maybe, maybe give it till she's about ten or eleven. Come yeah, on. I would. I would wait to let her watch the the um, oh my gosh the mystical Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I would make sure yeah. she's older before she watches those too because those are much darker. I think. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Right. Ask your thief question. That's a good question. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, okay, boss. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you've heard this question. I'm sure. I'm a thief. I've come into your home, and I've managed to steal Chris's sword so he doesn't slice me in half. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, and I have stolen all of your fragrances, but I'm really nice. I'm like, I allow you to have how many should we do? Three. Top three. Three. Three fragrances to keep. Three what would you choose to keep? Um, you don't have to say why. What would you choose? You go first. Uh, I'm going to take back uh, Creed Viking. Mm -hmm. nice. I'm going to take back uh, Zhirzhov Richwood. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take back. Memo African leather. Very nice choices, Chris. Very nice. Um, I actually didn't have to think about that. No, it's just straight in there. Bam. Yeah. He's doing his homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, what would you pick? Um, Enchanted Forest, um, probably Indult Tihota, and The Longing from House of Matriarch. Oh, that one is really good. Yeah. We haven't asked this question. I'm going to flip it around and ask you. Oh God! I what three would you keep? See, I yeah, I broke in with my sword and took all of your stuff. What do you yeah, want? Chris, <laughs> has got, Chris has got his massive fifty-inch sword out. Yeah. What What are you gonna What are you gonna keep? What am I gonna keep? Now I'm a little bit more basic than you two. I'm really sorry. My fragrance collection is just starting to grow a bit. Don't waffle too much, by the way. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'll get to it. Chris <laughs> just is like bam. Hillary's like bam. One waffling. Right. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'm going to pick which isn't going to be. Can I guess one? Surprise to everybody. You guess one. George Sahara. Yes, number one. That one is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it suits everything, doesn't it? It literally it does. you can wear it to anything. So, Sahara and the story behind it and why I've got it, etc. Number, number one. Two. Number two. You could guess this number two as well. The Chronic. The Chronic by Byron Parfums. Now, this to me is my sort of unicorn fragrance. This is the one that when I go and smell something new, somehow the chronic pops in my head. And it's not because I'm comparing it, it's because I want something to be as good as that. 
Yeah, that makes sense. And so far, I haven't really found anything that I've gone, wow, I really want that as much as that. So that's why I would pick that. Mm -hmm. Um, Number three. Number three. This is going to be a difficult one. I'm going to go with, oh, God, from my collection. Mm -hmm. Not not a sample, (laughs) something I really, really fall in love with. What do we go with? Oh, I don't know. I know. I'm going to go with this, and this is this. I'm just going to pick it. I know I can replace it easily. I can, can I just say it's going to be? Let me just mind read. Okay, then no, hold on. I won't Dior. say. Dior. Oh, no, it's not. Is it not? No, it's not. I would, I would pick Dior on intense, but I'm going Another to pick something that can easily be replaced, but it can easily be. So I wouldn't mind if you took it, Chris. Okay, but just go. On. I'm going to say it for sentimental reasons. Issy Miyake, load of Issy, oh. just for sentimental reasons. Forgot about that bit. <laughs> yeah, the only the fragrance that I got married in our first day. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oops. There are three. So I'm a bit more basic than you two, as you can tell. So look, Barry is saying Tony's waffling. I'm waffling. Let's move on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is this is a bit controversial. This question. So you both have to enter a competition separately, not as a company. Okay. And it is a dog grooming competition. (laughs) Okay. Who wins the dog grooming competition? Oh, Ah. 100%. Yeah. She's, (laughs) She's the master groomer. She's taught me everything that I know, but she's still so much better at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a I'm a master certified, and I teach grooming at a local grooming school too. Oh, wicked! There you go. That's an easy one, man. That was. Yeah. I was thinking that was going to be controversial, but it wasn't. No. It? <laughs> I, okay. I muddle through. Uh, she's the one that does all the the pretty stuff. I just muddle through. Do this one there. So you both have to pick one thing about each other that you love or like really lots. Okay. Maybe not just the word love. Okay. <laughs> a fun dog. He what? lets me braid his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Any, anytime you want to, that's fine with me. Uh, let's Wait, see. Is something. This, about... Is this French platinum? Going back to grooming again. <laughs> um, so I did um, like Viking braids uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, like three weeks ago. Yeah, I can do French braiding. I French braided his daughter's hair. Um, not mm-hmm. too long ago. Yeah. Oh, wicked. Yeah. Yeah. I um, used to. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Carry on. Oh, I, I used to do like all the girls' hair in um, in band because I was a drum major. So um, for competitions, we all had to look as similar as possible. So I did a lot of braiding. And yeah, I don't know. Oh, I can, I can just about do braiding. It's not like neat, neat. And it has to be when a hair is slightly damp. I can't do it when it's fluffy and stuff. You've got to have nimble fingers. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> I, I need you to teach me some nimble fingering. <laughs> <laughs> so just to be a, you know, a cold shower here, I'll say what I love about Hill is that she... Uh, humors me by listening to all the fantasy and nerdy books that I love to listen to. She has to to listen to them and talk about them with me as well. So I love that she uh, gives me that time. Oh, what do you love about me, babe? Um, that we have me. Uh, <laughs> Phoebe answered it for me that we created a lovely daughter together. Uh, good answer. Good answer. Not as good as uh, nimble fingering, but okay. <laughs> Exactly. I need I need Hillary in my life. When I come to Europe, I'm just like planning on like you know I'm gonna uh, take a bath with Claire. I'm gonna come work out with Bex. Maybe we can make some cake. <gasps> I'm good at making cake. I love we making make cake. Sweet cake together. Yes. 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 So Tony, I think she just wants me to to come and just me and you go off somewhere and just come back when the cake is done. So. Yeah. We, can go, we can go drinking. drinking. We can go drinking. Absolutely. hundred <laughs> percent. No, I would love for you to come. And I think I can't I'm done. <laughs> well. Just said I'd love for him to come, but <laughs> what I meant was that 
Come I'd love that too. To, let me, let me, oh let me add to that. Come over to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> and we've already said Sunday roast. We're going to put on a Sunday roast. I do cook a mean Sunday roast. So it, yes. uh, it's going to be at least a weekend and it's going to be a Saturday mm -hmm. cream tea. Ooh. Traditional English cream tea somewhere, yes. and then on the Sunday it's going to be a Sunday roast mm -hmm. with some sticky toffee pudding for heels. She hasn't Ooh. tried that yet. Yeah, and again. somewhere in there is going to be and lots of drinking. In lots a, of drinking. Drinking in a traditional English pub. Yes, which is in that little village. Yes, and it's a proper English country pub. Nice. Sounds oh, yeah. lovely. So we, and if we come to you, I know what I'm, I know. We're going to go for the crust of the keto pizza. <laughs> we're going to go for keto pizza. Yes. Yes. We're going to have lettuce burgers. burgers. Yes. And we are going to go on a bourbon tour. Absolutely, yes. probably several. Yeah, we can do several. We are definitely wanting to come <laughs> and visit you a hundred percent, and not just for the bourbon. Yeah. To see your yeah, beautiful faces. Yeah, they call it the Bourbon Trail. Like, like there's like a, an actual map. That's awesome, Betty. Yeah, they have like an actual map with like the Bourbon Trail that you can go on. I'll be right back. Well, so the Bourbon Trail, the way that it works is all of the all of the distilleries are in such a close proximity that you go to any of them and they give you an actual little like passport that they've made up for this. And if you do the tour and sample what they have, you get a stamp. If you go to all of them and get the stamps for your passport from all of them, you get to mail it in and they send you a free T-shirt. You love a free T-shirt. You love merch. <laughs> <that. laughs> There's nothing better than a T-shirt. No, exactly. so, no, we definitely got things planned and we would love to do it once everything gets lifted and everything goes back to as the new normal, whatever that might be. Uh, we've got to do one way and then another, 100%. I've got it. Oh. You need to come over when it's winter time and we can take you to London and we can do Winter Wonderland and they do mulled like wine. mulled wine and waffles Ooh. and like fairground rides. Oh, it would just be amazing. And you can see all the lights in London as well. I love mulled wine and rides, so that sounds right up my alley. Wicked. We can all have Christmas together with the children. How does that sound? Oh my gosh. Be Finn really would love it. You might you might regret having Finn stuff <laughs> over, but <laughs> sorry, I just whacked paper in her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was planning to go at the beginning of the year, but COVID, so I don't know when it's ever gonna stop. I know. It's yeah. One day we will sort this out. Yeah. We will definitely sort it out. Yeah. So Oh, one more question, and we got some would you rather's. Okay. One more question Ooh. is: So, there are lots of like crossbreed dogs. Yeah. So, if you could crossbreed two fragrance reviewers and put them together to make the ultimate fragrance reviewer, who would mm. it, who would they be? And we're not allowed to put anyone in the house here. So, <laughs> anybody. Yeah. Chris, do you want to go first? I'm still thinking. You go ahead. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so I would probably cross uh, Killa and maybe Lucas Poe because they're both so effing hilarious yes. that I, I just can't imagine what would come of that. Yeah. Well, you see, I was going to choose Lucas Poe because of his watchability, and I was going to pair him with, you know, someone that has an insane amount of fragrance knowledge that I just can't usually sit through all of their videos. You know, uh, someone like, um, uh, you know, that, uh, that fragdicted frag frag guy. I just can't sit through his videos. No. Um, Me neither. Who would I pick? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> How about... Uh, Olfactophile, Tara. I'll mix uh, Luke and Tara, and then that'd be a good combination. That would be a great combination. Wouldn't it? Sweet, anybody? <laughs> you know, like, like, like Luke's face and Tara's boobies. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit scary. I was just thinking <laughs> Luke's <laughs> comedy with Tara's boobs, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Who would you care to come up? Um, someone crazy like Jeremy. 
Really? Yeah, with someone more sensible to bring him back in line, like Fr uh, Fragmental Chris. The okay. two together get Chris Chris's sensible side on, and the the pictures, the the way the film of filmography that he puts on, put that with a little bit of excitement of the Jeremy that Jeremy said, put them together, and I think it could be magic. It could be. Yeah. Well, it could think? be a catastrophe. Who would I pick? I don't really Hillary, know. Hillary and Claire together would be hilarious. And I've seen them together as well. And that was trouble, actually. <laughs> Absolute trouble. No, it's my kind of stream. Uh, <laughs> oh, who would I pick? I don't really watch. No offense for anybody, but I don't, I don't get the time to watch anybody. She doesn't watch it. Not even me. So don't take offense. Um... <laughs> It's really difficult. I don't know. Jezza pulling Demi's thong in the shower. Oh, wow. That is it's some sort of... Like, that is some video, that. that right? I mean... Comedy plus boobs equals success. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's a winning combination. That's what Chris was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. Have you got any more questions? Right, let me just, just scan. I'm just going to scan. Don't put the paper oh, on the What's going on here? Hold on one second. Because I don't want this to happen. I've got to plug my phone in, so just bear with me to two seconds. <coughs> okay. Because otherwise, I don't want the phone going dead and things going wrong. That would be a predictive live all over. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's plugged in and working. Right, so let's go with, let's just check, double check all this. Oh, what's your favourite cake? I've obviously got to ask that because Tony loves cake. Pineapple upside down did someone, cake. Did someone say cake? <laughs> Pineapple upside down cake. I've never had that. Chris, that is amazing. And I've made it myself. And it is actually fairly simple to make. But fancy. It is. Or have some pineapple upside down never cake. Had it. Never had it. Amazing. Amazing. Tony, you have to make her some pineapple upside down cake. It's wonderful. I do. I do need to get Definitely. that on. Definitely. What about you, Hills? Um, my favorite um, is probably a black magic cake so it's basically like a dark chocolate cake with coffee in it um oh, okay. yeah, with like a peanut butter icing but i'm i really really love like cobblers and pies perhaps more than cake what but, like an apple pie uh like a blackberry cobbler like my grandma makes the best cobbler in the world it's like this thick i mean oh my god <laughs> 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 I'm not sure thinking about it do you have custard over where you are no custard mm -mm. Oh, that's it. Apple. So we're going to cook a roast. When you come over, cook a roast. Then we're going to have apple crumble with vanilla custard. Okay. That sounds yes. like a winning combination to me. Everybody over here loves apple crumble or even apple pie and custard. Yes. Especially from McDonald's. <laughs> Phoebe loves that. <laughs> Phoebe loves Thank you. apple pie from McDonald's. <laughs> 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 oh, hello. 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 Come say hi. Hello. Come say hi. Hello. Say hi. Hey. Can you tell me your name? Oh, bless. Oh. Show them what your mom gave you. Yeah, some roses, huh? Wow. That's yeah. sweet. Thank you for what you show. Thank you. Oh my goodness, she looks so much like you, Chris. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? <laughs> my little mini me. She is definitely a mini you. One hundred percent. Let's go. Well, look, I know you've got the family there, so I'm go we're going to move on a little bit. I've got two okay. more normal questions, and then we'll do the would you rather's, and then some questions from the people in the chat. If that's okay. So we're trying. Sounds to great. Right, this is important. What's your favorite flavor ice cream? <laughs> um, I like mint chocolate chip and cherry cordial <gasps> together. <gasps> oh my goodness, Hills, marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I just like vanilla. I'm, I'm so basic with ice cream. I don't eat ice cream very much. What I do is just vanilla and I need it like with something else, like with brownies or something like that. Well, that's Phoebe's favourite. Chocolate brownies and vanilla ice cream. She picked. Yeah. She had ice cream today. We could oh, pick yes. lots and lots of different flavours. And she had a scoop of strawberry mm -hmm. and a scoop of vanilla. Yeah, but it had strawberry sauce and sprinkles on it. Yeah, and it matched her top because she had this colour 
and this color. Yeah, nice. that's a good way to pick it. Yeah, <laughs> I had mango ice cream. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. Oh, I know a bubble gum, bubble gum, but I think it's sickly. It gets a bit sickly. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this is a serious question because we've done enough questions of non fragment related stuff, but this is going to be to do with your channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say your hopes and dreams are for the channel? Is, is, have you got an end game? Or just, um, just explain what what would you think what do you think is going to happen what would you like to happen where do you see it going? I don't really have an in game. Um, it kind of started more of just a hobby to kind of because um, I I think of fragrances as characters and books and things like that. Um, so it's really just kind of logging those things, um, which is definitely kind of a niche within the niche of fragrance reviewing. So it's not exactly the kind of thing that brings in a lot of subscribers, anyways. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want to eventually get to the point that um, I'd like to hit a thousand one of these days. <laughs> you will do very soon, I'm sure. Hillary, anyway, you are very well known, as you know, amongst a lot of different channels, UK, and I think a lot of people have got a lot of respect for you. So it will, it will 100% get there. And you both together, we genuinely, we've spoken about this, I'm um, sorry to get all mushy on you. We love you. But we do love you. We do genuinely <laughs> love you both. We really do. You just so you're our kind of people. You're positive. You're happy. You're loving people, and we we really do. We love you both. We really do. And we I have honestly, to that to each other. I honestly think that is my biggest goal for Hills Channel is just to meet more people that are like us that we enjoy interacting with. What did they do over there? She farted. Did you not hear that? I thought so. I just wanted to make you stay on camera. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't ever work with children. This is what they say. Animals or children. <laughs> yeah, we get much worse than gas in the grooming van. <laughs> For sure. We were all having a moment and then our daughter just decides to... But... Marvellous. Right. We were right in the middle of the moment, yes. No, listen... If you, it's obviously a hobby. It starts. It starts as a hobby, doesn't it? And you both have literally. I'm ashamed of my collection because not just you guys, but I see these amazing collections, and I get a little bit jealous. But in a lovely way, when everyone picks up a new fragrance, I'm like, oh, what have they got? And I'm happy. I really am. And I wish. Do you wish this? I wish everybody was the same. That they, everyone was happy for each other with what they pick up. Oh there's yeah, definitely. Lot, there's a lot of jealousy in the fragrance industry. I find in Fragcom, and I want to associate myself with people like you <laughs> because <laughs> I I know that if I pick something up new, and even if it was something you both really wanted, you I know a hundred percent, a hundred and fifty percent that you would both be happy for me, yeah. and yeah. that's what I love about you as well. And there's not not everyone is like that. Most people are. But there are a minority, and uh, obviously, there's no names that come to my mind. But it's it's Fragcom is lovely, but there's that tiny minority of jealousy in there, which I needs to be gone from the fragrance community. I agree. But um, I think you're both amazing, and that's why I think your channel will go places because you reach out to different people, you go on different people's channels, you have your lives, which everyone loves. So. I, I wish you all the luck with it. I really do. Thank you. And that's regardless of whether Chris does his own one or you do you carry on together. He's I, done his first video. Have yeah. you? Have you? Have you found your fragrance name, your channel name yet, Chris? Uh, well, right now it's going to be called the Scented Swordsman. Okay. One more question. Okay, what's your question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I need some more, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay, if I don't want any more, I won't ask you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, bless her. So this, the Scented Swordsman. Yeah, right now it's called the Scented Swordsman. Yeah, I haven't uploaded any videos yet, but I am editing the first one to upload soon. No oh, well, hit me up, Chris, and I'll have a little watch as soon as you've got it all. Oh, we'll do, Tony. We'll do. 
So I can't wait to see what you've done. How do you both feel about that? Is that going to be a little bit strange, or is, how how does that work with you both in terms of not separating? But you know what I mean from that. Yeah. Um, How's the dynamics think, work? I think it's fine as long as I don't have to edit his videos. Yeah, that's, that's the main reason I'm doing it. Uh, I don't mind filming videos. I just don't like making her edit them for me. So. <laughs> I'm going to through yeah. that myself now. Like I currently have three videos that I am ready to put out, but I haven't edited them yet. So it's just like, mm. I just don't have time to do it. But uh, It's tough. It's tough. I've got so many ideas that float, that go into this little mind of mine. I'd like, I need to get it all out, but it's so difficult to work out how it's going to be done and then learn how it's going to be done edit it to how I want it to be. Um, I could push content out every day. I could really go, right, I'm gonna review a two minute review, like I do on a Tuesday or have done on a Tuesday, and do that every day. Or I could release a list video two or three a week and just go bam, bam, bam and release it. But I, I, I wanna try and do something different. And it's, it's, I've got these ideas, but it's putting those ideas to you and to the, to the world to see that I'm happy with, and it's so t right. so difficult to get the time. It really is. It really yeah. is. I really yeah. like to show like the I don't know like the places that I'm from and like the areas around. And um, so I want to do like a video on tobacco scents from like my family's tobacco farm. But it's like wow. to drive hours to like my hometown and you know that sort of thing. And then weather and what saves the tobaccos in at that point, because mm. yeah, nobody really wants to see it, you know, mid stage of, you know, like flowering and stuff. But, yeah. yeah. Difficult to get it all done. Should we move on to your would you rather's? Bibi, you're going to ask her. So she's got one question that she wants okay. to ask. Okay. Would you rather, that one? This is for both of you. Okay. Oh, you, you can see it. Sleep with a snake or a tarantula? Sleep with a snake or a tarantula? Yeah. Snake. I own several oh, snakes as pets, it. so that's an easy one. I would much rather sleep with a snake. I have a snake too. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, would you rather... So, this is obviously the best bit. Let's wait for hills. We'll wait for hills, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 you're okay, honestly. It's fine. Yeah. You, want to, you wanted to see Phoebe. Oh, oh nice. I just want to see Rasta. What, what is this happening? Say hi, Phoebe. Why is he a Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Hi, Finn. Hello, Finn. Hey, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> He's cute. He is cute, isn't he? He's a blondie. You used to be a blondie. Did I? Yeah, you did. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I didn't. <laughs> right. What I will do, Chris, is we will do Would You Rather's with you, and then we'll okay. do the same with Hills. Sounds good. So, Would You Rather Coke or Pepsi? Coke. But only if there's uh, bourbon or something to put in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can make arrangements. It's fine. Okay. Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts? Krispy Kreme. Nice. Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. Pizza or burger? Burger. With lettuce. <laughs> that depends. How big of a pizza are we talking about here? <laughs> as big as you want it. Pizza then. <laughs> Would you rather have a long blunt sword or a short sharp sword? Short sharp dagger. <laughs> uh, I mean, both can get the job done, but uh, it's all in how I you wield it. It's all in how, how you wield it, it. and uh, I think I'd be more comfortable with the long blunt sword. I can still, you know, beat things into submission that way. Okay. Would you rather fly or be invisible? Fly. I'd yes. rather be invisible. I think I think if I could fly, I would end up crashing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather speak to animals or be able to speak all languages? Oh. Animals. I think I'm going to go with animals. Like the same answer. Yeah. 
Or, okay, uh, would you rather have, or would you rather play racing games or shooting games? Shooting games. Uh, boy, Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Daniels or Jim Beam? Jim Beam. Tea. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> I don't drink much. I'm really boring. <laughs> So I've just got a couple for you, Hills, because you weren't here. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, Coke, I think. Krispy Kreme or Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, Krispy Kreme. Okay, one more for both of you. Designer or niche? Niche. It depends on the day, but most days I'm going to say niche. And then the last question, obviously. Tony actually vetoed this question. And we can't veto anything unless we both agree, so it's not vetoed. Okay. I didn't put it on the list purposely. Yeah, he, he hasn't actually, look, can you see? He's not actually put it on the list. It stops at designer or niche. So technically, we both didn't agree, so it can't be vetoed. Predictive or predicted snaps? Predicted snaps. I mean, there's only one that has boobs, Tony. I'm so sorry. He has moves. We've seen that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You've but I've got those myself. <laughs> no, I, we love you both. So it, yeah. it would be really hard to choose. It really No, would. I'm not taking that, Chris. Thanks, thanks, Chris. No, you've got to pick one. Hills has. He's picking me now because you're being like. I mean, I'm going to have to pick Tony Chris. then. I'm going to pick Tony. Thanks. thanks oh. <laughs> it's a split so, decision. You know? You're pressurizing these people. <laughs> There now because no one ever picks that. Yeah. <laughs> so I would, no, I'll choose Molly though. Okay. Because because I like going on walks with you. <laughs> right. So has anybody got any questions? Any? I have any a question. Comments? Oh yeah. I have a question yes. for Phoebe. I mean, she keeps popping in. I need to have her uh, choose Hillary or myself. Which one would you pick? Who are you going to choose? If you have to hang around, hang out with them. If they came to the pub with us, let's say that. Uh, it's a conversation. I don't want to be rude. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it only looks like it's just me and you going drinking then. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> By me, Max and Phoebe will go get some cream, creamy tea or whatever it was. Yes, cream yeah. tea. Yes, yes, yes. So, John Snow, I have a question for Hild. Can you see it? <clears throat> Which, what would your first oh. fragrance be and what would you call it? it so, if, if I, this is if I made my own fragrance? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, it would be called send nudes, but nudes would be like an apostrophe O U D S, and oh, then I love that. Yeah. and then like I could make a fragrance for men that was called dudes, same way or like uh, or nudes. Yes. yes. I'm jumping on board with that one. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really love puns. So. Or pick dicks. What? Yeah. As in dick pics, but swap it around. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. yeah. That's clever. I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go that one for my answer. <laughs> She's here all week. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I mean, I have before. I've trimmed this beard before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. On occasion. Yeah. There we go. There's one from Nigel. Mm -hmm. I could repick my first ever fragrance. What would it be and why? Um, That's a great question. That is a good question. Red Forest for me, just because it's like, I don't know, it's my favorite. Which one, sorry, Hillary? Um, Vagabond Prince, Enchanted Forest. Okay. Yeah. It's See, great. I don't think I'd want to start at the top. I'd rather start, you know, down at the bottom where I where I actually started, you know, and appreciate things. I'd rather things not waste I think my money on stuff I don't want. i just go for, go big or go home. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'd still go with, you know, something designer. Uh, I mean, I wore Bath and Body Works Ocean for like years or Axe or uh, Bod's Body Spray, you know, those kind of things. So if I could pick something to replace those, uh, maybe just, I mean, something about uh, PDM Layton. I'll go with Layton. Okay. Great yeah. choice. Love Layton. Accessible niche, I would say, Chris. Lovely, lovely fragrance. If you hadn't got into dog grooming, 
world, what um, career would you have taken? That's from Barry. So, yeah, so I went to college, double majoring in pre-med and sign language interpreting. So um, I probably, like in the middle of college, I changed the interpreting to um, secondary mathematics in deaf education. So I probably would be teaching at a deaf school. Wow. Oh, good kid. Um, I actually, uh, I have a degree in, in environmental science, so I guess if I wasn't uh, into grooming, I would be a park ranger or something along those lines. I could see as a park ranger. Definitely. Yes. With a sword instead of a machete. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sword machete, thank you very much. A long blunt one, yeah. <laughs> a long blunt one, yes. <laughs> Still gets the job done, though, Beck. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, that wasn't it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, what? Philosophy classes with Debbie or dancing classes with Jessa. Wow. Um, I think Demi. I can uh, I can rationalize anything, so I don't think I need the philosophy classes, but I can't dance for anything. So I'm gonna have to go with Jeremy and just like wear earbuds or something so I don't have to listen to him. You'll have to get some ripped jeans, Chris. In white. I can I can do that. That's okay. <laughs> He's got a sword. Get his ass cheeks out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Get your tighty whities on as well, because obviously you can't have any VPL. That's great. Have you got any questions for us at all? Oh, goodness. What, 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 was your, what was your favorite type of dessert that's not cake? Ooh, yeah. ooh. Oh, he loves an apple pie. No, that's still a cake, really, isn't it? What no. you say? It's not cake. It's not like a muffin or a Victoria sponge. Hmm. Oh, I like gosh. I like yogurt, so I like what? ice cream. I like ice cream. Really? Yeah, I do. I love yogurts. Oh, I tell you what, you can finish a Ben and Jerry's tub in one go. Oh, thanks, yeah. CJ. Very, very kind of you. I can. Oh, yes, I, I, I'm going to say ice cream heels because. Yes, Ben and Jerry's I love. I don't buy it very often because I know I finished the tub in one go, so I try and steer clear of it. I don't even go down that freezer aisle because I know if I pick one up and take it home, it's gone. That's so, a way to eat ice cream. <gasps> do you know what he's done to me before? So, Ben and Jerry's with the, do you have the ones with the white polar bears in? I don't know what it's called. We probably do. I haven't looked at it in a while. Do you, know what he's done to me? Good. Do you know what he's done to me before? So he's brought a tub and then he sifted all the white chocolate polar bears out of it and just left plain vanilla ice cream. But that's an impressive feat to, I mean, to, to put the energy into that. That's impressive. Digging treasure. That's what digging the treasure. That's what it is. <laughs> I see this little angel sign above my head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, who even does that and then puts it back in the freezer? I mean, what a liability. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. What was Tony's wearing scent when he met Bex? Issy There we go. Yes. The original. Load it, Issy. Right, there we go. We'll ask this one, and then I know I don't want to take up too much of your Sunday. Oh, not that one. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks so much. Right, thank you for that. I really appreciate that, Tony. It's very kind. Um, and CJ as well. And CJ, I've said thank you to CJ. CJ is a legend. If no one knows, CJ is actually a subscriber to my brother's gaming channel. Oh, uh, okay. And he comes into our stream just to listen to us, which I think is oh. he's not got any interesting fragrances <laughs> at all, but just comes for the lives, which I just think is amazing. So thank you, Bless. CJ. Very, very kind of you. Um, there we go. I like this one from Barry. Um, I wasn't into fragrances yet, so I was either probably wearing um, a dog fragrance that got sprayed on me by accident, or you know, cleanse. So. And yet it didn't scare me away, so I mean there's that. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I was working at that pet store I was wearing uh, Bath and Body Works Ocean. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. I, I was really surprised that, not don't take this the wrong way Chris, I was really surprised that it was you that was got heels into the fragrances. I don't know why I thought it was the other way around. I just did. But <laughs> yeah, she, it's definitely uh, taken off for her. You know, I've always worn fragrances, but uh, there was one night I was asleep at like, I couldn't sleep at like three in the morning and I ended up signing up for a Scentbird subscription and ordered one and I was telling Hill about it and 
you know, did all this research and found that I needed to go and smell Creed Aventus or I was going to die. And we had to find a place to smell it. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, we went. Birthday, and I was, I could not have cared less. <laughs> <laughs> and did you, do you still enjoy that now, Chris? Have you obviously you've tried it now? And so I smelled that it? one and I knew instantly that it wasn't for me, but that was also the same time that I first smelled Creed Viking. And that was the one where I was like, oh man, I have to have this. I had no idea that, uh, you know, that fragrance could smell so good. So I knew that I had to have that one. Uh, so then it just spiraled from there and he'll mention doing a channel and I've just, you know, pushed her to do it and encouraged her to get out there and, and make her own channel. I think it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, I think I kind of went more. I, oh, sorry. That's okay. No, come on. Oh, I, I think I just went more gung ho into it because I didn't have as many like hobbies. You know, like Chris likes his swords and his like reptiles and fish tanks and books and things. And um, yeah, I was, you know, single momming and such. So it was like my one outlet. And so I kind of went crazy into fragrances. So. You yeah. certainly both fallen deep into it from what I can see. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much for both of you for coming on. Yes. I, I don't want to take up any more of your time with the family, etc. Yeah. So with the little ones. So I'm very mindful of that. But it's been amazing having you both on and getting to know you both a little bit more. Um, thank you so much, really. I don't know what else to say. We well, love it was you. my pleasure. So thank you guys so much for having us on. Yeah. It's, it's been amazing. So we will let you go. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you both very soon. Yes. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. See Take you care. Later. Thanks, Chris. Bye. Right. There we go. So they were our guests for our Sunday, the lovely Chris and um, Hillary mm -hmm. from the Borough Nerdy Fragrance Reviews. Amazing channel. Once this stream has ended, I will link the channel below. So if you don't subscribe to them already, please go and give them a sub. Uh, they are amazing. Together they do lives as well. Their lives are very interesting. Very, very, as you can tell, lovely, lovely characters. Lovely, lovely people. And uh, we, we love them a lot. We really do. And thank you to you guys for joining us again. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks yes. for joining our stream. I know. It's still very strange to us. Still tuning yes. in just to watch these ugly mugs. I know. It's very, very strange. <laughs> we, uh, we, I really look forward to our Sunday Live. Really look forward to it. And it's just, it's just a way of talking to like-minded people, which I love. And to have you guys in the chat means an awful lot. So I'm so sorry if we don't get to interact with you all as much as we would like while talking to our guests. Uh, anyone that does a live will understand what I mean there. It is very, very difficult, uh, but we try and interact as much as we can. And that's why we have the half an hour before as well yeah. to try and talk and talk about crap, talk about rubbish. Yeah. Uh, but we <laughs> hope, yes, thank you, Katie. We, we hope you we hope you have a lovely evening. Don't drink too much. We're into, drink lots. We're into Monday now. Oh, uh, that depressing bit. Yeah, I've got to go and finish my Pictures. job. Yeah, okay. Finish my job and then hopefully we can just. Oh, <laughs> even me, Rex. Right? Well, you're all right, John. No, I'm joking. You know I love you. But no, thank you, everybody. Well, have you got to say anything? Yes. What have you got to say? Um, you know, um, this is for you guys. Okay. Okay. You guys. Not you too. Not you. Not you know how to make it. Okay. okay. Um. So. Okay. Hang on. Nobody needs to know how to make a pen for your iPad. Or you do. No, they don't. Well, it's all right. anyway, you need tin foil. Oh my goodness. And um, tape. Cotton bud. Yeah. Okay. And what uh, Oh, and an foil. old pencil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get tin foil. Yeah. Okay. You get your tape out. Yeah. And then you put the pencil just not like going like above the edge. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you put the um, cotton wood above that thing. This is marvelous. Things. The pencil. So it's sticking out. Okay. And you fold it and then 
you, and tack it together. Yeah, and then you yeah. have to wet it a tiny bit and then it'll work. Yeah, so Phoebe made her own eye. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, because I, um, um, I broke it because I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. okay. Phoebe's into TikTok, obviously. When kids watch TikTok, oh, they get too. new ideas of how to make things. So she made her own iPad pen with a pencil, a cotton bird, tin foil, and sticky tape. Okay. Oh, she's TikToking right now. Okay. Oh, and also, her scent of the day, I've just smelt it on her. She's back around Rouge. Card red. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, you can smell it. Or is it the dual one? It's the dual yeah. one. Okay, so it's not Carved Old Baccarat Rouge, it's Dua. It's Dua. And it is the Casino something. Casino Royale, I think, or something it's called. Yes. Royale. Her Maybe bedroom. Stinks of it. It stinks. It's literally her favourite fragrance, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, but it ran out. That's why you gave it to me. No, um, it wasn't much left in it. We didn't yeah. want to spray it all the time, that's why. Okay. But she wears it for school. She, she's she got into it of wearing it for school. But... We will wrap it up. Say goodbye. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for your donation, Taffy and CJ. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.